Good evening. Welcome to another fabulous episode of Conspiracy Couch. Can I get a five by five in the chat if the sound, if the audio is fine? Welcome everybody. Hello, loyal to the foil. What up? We are coming to you live from the office of the president elect. That's right. We got a sign, guys. We got, we got it. That makes it official. Did you sign? Yeah. Did you see mine? Right. It looks like we got a five by five from Gert. Did you see mine? Uh, my name is now, I forget what it is. I think it's deplorable top Trump president elect on Twitter. Yeah. I like that one. I like your Trumpus. What is it? What's your name on Tr Twitter now? I'm loyal to the Trumpus Maximus foil. <laughs> that was good foil. I like right. that. Thank you for the five by fives out there. Hi, how, how's everybody doing? Hi, Todd. <clears throat> Hi, Tyler, Russ, Yovanda, Dennis, Teresa. Oh, we got another president elect. G Morty's in the house. Man, Re so many of us. I know, right? Christina, Mikey, Becky, Brandy, Rook, Cad Spotter. It's good to see all of you. Here we are. What is this? The sixth conspiracy couch? This is the Man, sixth. Man, we've been at it for a minute, right? That would be six weeks, friend. Unless we didn't. Well, I think we didn't do it for a week because we were in Sedona. But yeah. So. You'll have that. Yeah. Exciting stuff. So uh, I just have to say this because it's rather, rather exciting. So for those that are unaware, uh, Loyal to the Foil started her own YouTube channel called Cognitive Dissidents. It's already shadow banned. You can't find it by typing it in. But if you're subscribed, you can find it right on your subscription list. Anyway, yep. I, I checked this today. It's true. But <clears throat> and however, which video was it? Your watermarks video? Watermarks. 50,000 views, you guys. She just started her channel two weeks ago like not even like a week and a couple of days i think yeah it went totally viral that's crazy i've never seen anybody's channel grow as fast as yours has it's just Woo Woo. come listen to me talk my smack yeah you're doing that's great what... foil i'm very proud of you you're killing it thanks yeah i couldn't do it without you <laughs> so for those that haven't uh checked it out uh hopefully one of the mods can put a link to her channel in the chat because it's really hard to find you can't just type in her name and find it you gotta have the super secret password you gotta guys. have the super secret password pretty much yeah. top top level clearance only yeah so anyway yeah go and subscribe to foil's channel um she does the late breaking news and um she's doing great and uh, make sure and hit the yeah, notification the, bell which yeah because there's no schedule right there's because yeah, it's you, just it's guerrilla warfare out in these streets yeah you never I know when you do whatever uh -uh. You never know when she's go going live and that really upsets me. I'm like, darn it, I missed it again. <laughs> she's like, did you hit the notification bell, Alara? I'm like, um, maybe. I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> Shame on right. me, right, you guys? It happens. Hey, Kate, good to see you. Rainbow, Rainbow Snu Snuggle Fritz. Ooh, I tongue twisted on that one today. Uh, Rocker Chick, Starstream, how you doing? Dead Skull. Yeah, so we're thinking to go like uh you know ai darpa, DARPA related, related yeah. conversation how would you guys think of our DARPA. backgrounds though seriously i mean right when foil came on with this background i was like wow <laughs> <laughs> that's next level homie like um yeah right yeah so i had to make one and put it on too you know we do it for the people we threw the couch away just just for just for this background yeah yeah just just this once yeah. Right. But it foil gets credit. It was her idea. Ooh. All right. So, um, so yeah, so we're thinking about going into some DARPA related stuff, which foils done written a lot of amazing threads on DARPA stuff. It's one of my so. favorite things to hate. I mean, it's up there with like Bill Gates, right. my favorite things to hate. Yeah. And, um, you know, I, I have one friend that I know of who has had incidents with what I believe to be some DARPA type of stuff. And that would be the Kate Awakening. She has the um, Kate Awakening. That's right. The Kate Awakening. She has right. these spiders that come and visit her and I call them surveillance spiders. And um, they're very unusual. We'll let Kate tell you about them, but she's going to be calling in and telling you guys about her surveillance spiders. Woohoo! And anybody else out there that has some interesting stories about AI related stuff, DARPA related stuff. And you know, this is conspiracy couch. So we're totally cool. All conspiracies cool. welcome. Right. We're, we're totally... very tolerant right. about alternative conspiracies. The... We don't have hate in our hearts. Yeah. If you got hate in your hearts, let it out. Foil, right. you need a tinfoil hat for this show. 
Like, I know. Yeah. Right? Somebody made a comment earlier about you had a bonnet on in your in your picture. They thought you had a bonnet on. I thought that was really I mean, funny. In all fairness, I remember I did get the smoking jacket and the the Sherlock Holmes pipe. Mm -hmm. She was already on day one, you guys. Like, seriously. I was. I was ready to go. Yeah. Um, no, Starstream, this is not my new space chair. Unfortunately, uh, YouTube has yet to pay me. So when they do, I'll yeah. be getting right on the space chair. No, I borrowed the inspector's chair tonight because it's... They only pay, what, like once a month at the end of the next month. So it's not like it's, I don't you know. Even know. But, uh, you know, for all intents and purposes, uh, the, uh, what is it? The super chats are active. Feel free, guys. <laughs> all right. So what should we go into as far as uh, DARPA stuff should we start off with, Foil? Man, so I was, I, do you remember, and I meant to ask you this. Do you remember, like, my God, this was like beginning of last year. When out of nowhere, DARPA just starts tweeting out and like uh, there were all these articles. They Like on a Tuesday, they sent out a message and they were like, oh, my God, we need like a secret underground layer by Friday. Right. And it was like it was it was it was real serious. Did you see that? Just randomly, they needed a super secret underground. Yeah, bunker for their their bunker. In fact, I think I saved something about that in the bookmark, something about their under. Or I had an article pulled up about that. Is it in one of these threads, Foil? Yeah, I well, the, it's. I think the top one I sent you when I was talking about is like, I was like, what the hell do they need? Like with quickness. Now they were claiming or people were speculating rather. And that's what we do here is rampant speculation. They were speculating. Oh, that they were I got it right here. So while robotics. you're, while you're talking, I'm going to pull it up and show them what we're talking about. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so let me see. I'm pulling it up right now while you're talking. Go ahead. This right. totally creeped me out. I mean, they just, like I said, just randomly one day, they came out, you know, that they had this, you know, inexplicable need uh, for this very specific creepy underground layer. Like, people were speculating that they might be, you know, like, training new new robots down there or, or whatever. Or, like, and this was right around the time, and it was weird, because it was right around the time when the government, like, co-opted all of the next-gen... Uh, night vision stuff do you remember that uh -huh. and then like right around that same time they came out and they said they need this underground layer and i'm like what are they doing you know are they storing is it like going to be like clone storage down there or yeah i remember when know, that I, happened they're, that was crazy they're constantly doing weird stuff they were saying it was like a robotics competition but it's darpa i mean do we really believe that Right. And I've noticed the things that they disclose. I went through some of their website today. I've noticed the things that they disclose to the public are nothing compared to the stuff they have. Like nothing. Man, not like it's a, a, like it's a joke. Near. No, it's a well, joke. Well, my big thing recently has been, <clears throat> and I know this, I, I know this sounds like totally tinfoil, but it's true. Like we argue about freedom of speech all the time, right? It's written into the constitution or whatever, but like we really need to start looking at protecting pri our privacy of thought. Like they hold on, foil. Is this the is this the N three subnets? And that, I just want to show them that thread. If that's is that what yeah, you're you talking can, about? Okay. Yeah, you can pull that. So this is a thread you can find on her Twitter that she's done on all this DARPA stuff. If you guys want to take a look at it later, I'll show you real quick while she's talking. Go ahead, foil. Well, it it just it really trips me out because you know, even now we. There are patents on patents for all kinds of like mind control and, and mind reading tech. I mean, for God's sakes, our thoughts are sellable products now. What do you think the, uh, you know, what do you think big tech is doing with all the data they glean? You know, they can tell you what you want before you even know what you want at yeah. this point and they sell it. So, I mean, they're, they're merchandising and, and commercializing our thoughts and our patterns, but, but. I mean, it hasn't been that long since they figured out that they could use something as simple as fMRI to use as as kind of like a primitive lie detector to see which area of your brain lights up in real time. And they would know if you were pulling from actual memory or if you were pulling from like a creative center and you were having to come up with these thoughts on your own. So DARPA in, you know, all of their nefariousness has been funding for the longest uh what N3 programs and, and what they call subnet programs where they are, they're trying to get the tech to literally be able 
to read your thoughts. And if they're telling us that they're trying to get it, they probably already have it. Oh, then there's no but, doubt. Look, look, I've seen, I've seen, look, and I'm sure you guys have experienced this too. Don't, don't like, I, I know this has happened to other people. In fact, one of the first people I heard call it out other than me was Kaylin McDonald. She's the first one I saw write something up on Facebook and was like, check it out, people. They're not just going through our stuff and our, our data and, and, and creating ideas about how we shop. And she goes, they're reading our thoughts. And the moment she said, it, I was like, I know they are. I can, cause I'll think something I'll, I, and I haven't voiced it to anybody. I haven't searched this item. I haven't done anything and it'll pop up. It will, mm -hmm. it'll pop up in my search suggestions. I mean, it's, fr it's freaking creepy, man. It's and just, I, I knew people that were working on this in the 80s, too. So, well, I mean, <laughs> that just, was a long time ago. Just on things that they've announced or things we look at Neuralink, like anything that's connected can be hacked and anything you put in your brain. I mean, for God's sakes, in 2018, Nissan had brain to vehicle technology that they that they they patented that, that was supposed to let the car interpret the signal from the driver's brain. Like, I, I, I don't I don't need all that. Like, right. I'm good. Yeah. That's crazy. Give me an old Chevy, man. I'm good. Hell yeah. Something, especially when the, you know, when the robots rise and, and they drop the EMPs to try and stop the robots, at least the car will keep going. I need like a, <laughs> you know, 1960s Chevelle or something, maybe. I don't know. But that's crazy. Absolutely. Uh, but I mean, even aside from all that, even aside from all that, like they, where's the, well, let me see. They are working on what they call like human intranet you know, actually connecting your different parts of your body to the internet, not just your brain. It's, it's crazy. I mean, I don't trust Skynet, man. I just, I don't trust Skynet. And if, and if you look like, here's, here's my concern. Normally what happens and Elon Musk talks at length about this and he, he usually is referencing AI, but normally what happens in the development of new technologies is okay. Something that we build something, right? They release it, we see the effects it has, and then we try to relegate and legislate backwards after the product's already been released. Like we try to correct for errors with legislation or, you know, evaluation at that point. Well, with shit like privacy of thought, that's, that's something we need to preemptively be protecting. You know, I mean, you get arrested. Yeah, it's and, like freaking pre-crime, right? The thing is, they're they're already doing this, and because we don't know of it, it's the same thing with like the other disclosure topics with UFOs and everything else. Because we don't know about it and they haven't acknowledged it, like we can't protect ourselves against what they're doing, and it's not right, you know. Well, they coined the term for for what they're going to call neurocapitalism, right? They got a whole word for it, and uh, I mean, get y'all. Guess who's funding a whole lot of this? Freaking Zuck, man. Mark Zuckerberg is funding research on brain-computer interfaces and, and things that can pick up thoughts directly from your neurons. Like, they're to the point now where they have mapped enough thoughts and visualizations mm -hmm. and whatever across cultures and across people to be able to know what the signals in your brain are pulling up for you. You know, I mean, what happens when, like right now, okay, we talk about, you know, they can't search without a warrant. They can't do this or that or whatever. Like, okay, well, are they, you know, are right. they, are they, do we have a right to privacy of thought? Are we going to need search warrants, you know, for them to get into your brain? Are they going to, are they going to be able to, I mean, they can literally download and upload memories now. Right. What happens then? You know, do we have a right to not self-incriminate? What, what's going on there? Like, this is something we need to be looking at now and not freaking. Yeah. I agree. Waiting until it becomes like a, you know, a, a basic human rights abuse. I mean, and then, and then, you know, you're always going to have those shady people out there that are just doing it anyway. Right. Uh, you know, and then what? I mean, what happens when they upload a memory to you that you murdered so-and-so, right? Especially if it's in bad guys' hands. They, when they want to, yeah, they want to set you up for, for some mm -hmm. kind of crime. They, they upload a memory into your head. And now you're wondering like, what the hell? We can't even have we can't even have a fair election in this country, obviously. Man, right? So, uh, I mean, yeah. DARPA's like the mad scientists of the government. They're yeah. always on, you know, some nonsense. We need DARPA monitors. <laughs> man, we really do. They were man. Do, do you remember when I posted the stuff about the little brains? They were growing little mini human brains. Oh lord! And then they were kept in a lab, and these brains 
the little tiny brains somehow connected with each other and started to, yes, listen, I'm, you already know if I'm saying it, I, I saw, I read it. These little tiny brains, let me see if I can find it, connected with each other and were sending signals to each other. It was a, like a primitive form of communication, just little mini brains. It's nuts. I, I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, like we we people laugh about Alex Jones, this, that, and the other. That man, as far as like human chimeras, they're mixing. Like we, I mean, we already know they're you know pig, sheep, you know pig, human, pig, sheep, human, whatever chimeras that they've made to be able to grow organs that won't be rejected. They say, Boyle. you know, this, that, and the other. Huh? It's, it's gonna Sorry. be. It's gonna be okay. <laughs> I feel some kind of way, man. I feel some kind of way about it. It's going to be all right. I promise you, Foil. It's like pinky in the brain down there. Skynet's like, not going to happen. I promise. Same thing we do every day. Not on my timeline. over the world. I'm yeah. Just saying. But the little mini so, brains, I was, I was tripping out. Yeah, I wish we had the mini brains article. I'd love that one. Is, I do. You got a thread. She's got a, she's got a thread on, on everything. You can literally type in at Foil the and whatever and something will pop up. Does it though? Because I, if I type in my old stuff, it doesn't come up. I'm so shadow banned that you can't. F you it like yeah, one. Yeah, no, no, no. But my is it because I hashtagged? Cool. You never hashtagged your stuff, did you? No. Uh. -uh. You're smart. No. Yeah, I did. No, I didn't know better. I was green. I was like, ah, hashtag this, hashtag that. Isn't that I what figured, you do? Like, Isn't that I what you do on getting, Twitter? You hashtag hell things. Hell no. Yeah. Oh. I knew they were they were getting people's accounts hashtagging, and that was two years ago i was like nope i'm not hashtagging. i used to have all this stuff Nothing. hashtagged and written on my profile now it's like four words no more hashtags mm -mm. i've learned i done learned yep so yeah uh where is it go ahead you you no ramble on for a minute I'm I, I, I want peeps to call in it's you know it's about that time where the peeps need yeah, to call in said it's 7 17 so it's just about the right time Hey, just uh, two ground rules I want to lay out uh, is that we like to keep it family friendly because there are kids that watch. So, uh, yes, on that. And what else? Uh, one, what, what, what was the other one? Oh, uh, oh we're going to we're going to try and keep the calls not to like, you know, 20, 30 minutes, maybe 10, 15 minutes, you know, unless we don't have anybody waiting. So there you have it. That's it. Those are the two yeah. ground rules. And oh, if you're on a phone or whatever, make sure you mute the stream. Yeah, that's always. Oh, yeah. here it is. Here comes Kate. Yeah, I found Good. It. She gets to tell us about her spiders. They definitely have that tech. I put oh, the you can't tell me your... this isn't DARPA. I mean, I'm telling you, it might be some weird ET stuff, but it's but it's DARPA. I'm I'm feeling. I don't know. Let's hear Kate tell us about her spiders. Tell us all about it. Yeah, Kate, we're dying to hear about your spiders. Howdy, Howdy do doc. Can you hear me? Yeah. Hi Roger. guys. Roger, Roger. What's up? Roger, Roger. <laughs> uh, what's up, guys? So, uh, I got bugs. You guys want to hear about my bugs? We yes. definitely want to hear I'm all about the I'm bugs. I'm fascinated with her spiders, but I don't want to bring them in, like, bring them into my field, you know? Like, try not to uh, focus on them. I'm not <laughs> sure that's how it works. I really don't right. know, though. I hear, like, I mean, I remember the first time I told this story, I was kind of, I didn't really think much of it. And I got a ton of people reaching out to me after that. And they were, they had all these things to tell me about it. And, um, I still don't know exactly what they are, of course. Um, but, and they always look different too. Like every single time they look different. Sometimes they look like organic spiders. Sometimes they look robotic. Sometimes they look like something that's not even from this planet. Um, but I will wake up to them and they're usually uh, above my head, typically, and I can see them. Um, and, you know, if I move, like if I, if I, you know, because it takes them a few seconds to kind of go. If I move, they stay in the same place. So I know it's not my eyes playing tricks on me. Um, I've had, uh, yeah, the robotic one had 12 legs and they were like blades that were around it. That one was actually oh, on my floor. Oh, hell no. <laughs> yeah, and the way <laughs> Foil says I have a hard way... enough time with the ghosts. <laughs> Man, right? No, thank ghost, you. Ghost spiders. So it had blades for legs, and they rotated around it. That's how it moved. So DARPA. typically, when I wake up, yeah. Well, I mean that one for sure. That one, some yep. kind of robot. Yep. Um, they uh, when every time I wake up though, they always pause for a second, and it's like they see that I'm waking up, and then they will both simultaneously move away and 
disappear, dematerialize or whatever you want to say at the same time. So it looks like they're phasing in and out or... Yeah, it looks like they're phasing out, but it takes some, you know, several seconds, you know, which doesn't seem like a long time, but it's, it's a good enough time to get a good view. Do they make a little, when they, okay, they, they crawl up. I was up, just wondering that. Do they make a little web and crawl up their web and then phase out? Okay, so uh, I've never seen a web, but sometimes some of them look as if a spider is going straight up its web or like you know, being pulled straight up in a straight up direction, or it looks like they're, they're crawling up something, but I can never see them crawling up. Whatever. <laughs> can you hear up. them? Do no, they make I've little never... clickities? Like, clickety click. Foil like... said, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. I don't do spiders, man. Not at all, under any no, circumstance. They're, they're typically just stroking my hair. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> what? Oh, he no, 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 ma'am. No, no ma'am. <laughs> No, they're just, it's weird. They don't have a super, uh, they just seem like they're observing. Almost like scientists watching a, watching lab rats. Oh, no. Do they have yeah, clipboards? No. Do they have, I think I asked you that <laughs> once. Are they taking notes? Yeah, do they right? take do notes? They little lab coats and stuff? <laughs> <do they? laughs> no. So, uh, like I said, they're not, they don't seem benevolent or malevolent. They're just kind of there. They're just but there. The last couple times, I don't know what has possessed me because- one of them looked like an organic spider, like a regular hairy ass fat butt spider, mm -mm. brown, um, but it was the size of like a medium sized dog, not even a small dog. Wait, like a what? Dog. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, man. And that you sound one... like damn starship troopers or something <laughs> like no, ma'am. Have you yeah. ever tried to catch one? So that's what I was just going to say. You got to catch some, one, man. You gotta mm -hmm. catch the last one. two times, I don't know what possessed me. Because even if I woke up to an actual spider that was just like the size of a dime, I would probably scream and like jump out of my bed in the opposite direction. But for the last several times I've seen them, for some reason, my instinct is to charge at them. Like to get out of bed and literally like start yeah, charging Yeah, get them. Like I'm going to catch it. Yeah. <laughs> I never well, reach them. I mean, I've seen... I've seen where they had, um, they, they were tiny, like mosquito shaped and these were metal and they had a proboscis. They look like little mosquitoes that could either when they, and this, this I've seen the patent on, I mean, this is a, this is, this is a whole actual verifiable freaking thing. They can inject you with something where they can take samples with the little probo the little fake proboscis that they put on the little, uh, mechanical mosquito drone things. That's crazy. So uh, that's crazy. Since since we're on the subject of mosquito drones, I think I think I've told this story once, uh, but not. But I had one fly. I should probably. I don't. I don't even like telling this story because. But I had one fly. Like I'm positive that's what it was. I couldn't see it, but I could feel it. I felt it as soon as it was against my ear, and it wasn't natural. The bug. You know when a bug, a natural bug, you can tell this thing wasn't natural. It was. It was. A, mm. It was a machine, and it came. It. It. And it. It went in my ear, and it. It like, I don't know what I did, but I was sick for like two days after that. That's crazy. Yeah, I was in Hawaii. So I've heard several theories about what these spy spiders are. Um, okay. Uh, actually, one one story is kind of funny. Um, uh, I think the first time I ever told the story about the spiders was on Journey to Truth. And I had just, I didn't know Tyler or Aaron at the time. I had just met them. And so... Tyler was like, oh, hey, like, I looked it up. I, you know, I found some article. I haven't read it yet, but what the spiders might be. And um, I read the article. I was like, did, I got back to him. I was like, you didn't read this article yet, did you? And he's like, no, why? And I was like, because it says there's some form of, um, it's like an entity that will be around you if you masturbate a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I was like mortified. Really? That is that is not what I believe they are. That is like, not the oh, theory that I subscribe absolutely to. Absolutely no, right? I think so they're they're somebody, surveillance spiders. Yeah, somebody uh, definitely surveillance is the thing that comes up a lot. Uh, somebody, some people say that they come from like reptoid hu uh, beings. They're the ones that send them, which is interesting because in Harry Potter, all of the spiders. The one of the things is that the spiders flee before the serpent. Like the, they kind yeah, of right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, the other thing that I've heard is that they uh, are like if if somebody is intent intently thinking about you, 
then these spiders kind of get drawn to you almost like a moth to a flame like something about your energy changes and these things just like they're like normal spiders or like something that's not super duper intelligent that's just like oh i'm gonna go check this thing out that's vibrating different or whatever it is do you think somebody could be manifesting them I don't know. And I don't know if the, if because they look different, they're from, they have different, but it's always spiders. I'm never waking up to like a gremlin or like a bunny. <laughs> <Right>. A frog. <laughs> yeah, a little right. pepe. Why can't it be rabbits? Yeah. Why can't it be rabbits or like hamsters or like something cute? <laughs> right. Why something have to be not spiders? completely awful, right? Oh, yeah. that's crazy. That's crazy. I don't know. I know. I, I wish I had more answers. I mean, I don't know. I, oh, I'm, that sounds really darpish to me, and maybe even some ET related stuff, dark ET related stuff mixed with some darpish stuff, because it's all kind of interconnected, really. Yeah. One but, time, my bar my dog barked at it though, so I know that it was. So you just know you weren't <laughs> tripping, right? Yeah. That's or we were crazy. both tripping, right? Yep. <laughs> right. If you look in your DMs, Laura, I found the mini brain. I sent it to you. Okay. That's mm -hmm. freaking crazy, Kate. Well, welcome, Christina. Welcome to the Conspiracy Hello. Couch. How are you this evening? Hello, everyone. I'm Hello. doing really great. Do you have uh, oh, so, yes. some AI um, weirdness to share? <laughs> listening to uh, Kate's story about what she's experiencing, um, I wanted, I kind of went over it in the chat for a tiny bit, but this was really bizarre. Just two days ago, I had um this bee that came in and she was quite big and it, it reminded me of like a it was that definitely a honey bee but it um was had a longer torso so it must have been like a queen bee mm, okay. but what i found fascinating about this was when i came into the room she turned and looked right at me oh no in the same spot and then i was like why is she she's in the kitchen and I'm like, hello. And then I'm like, what are you doing here? I just started talking to her. And she she turned and went and looked right at my water, my water that had just been charged. I had quartz crystals in there. And oh. she and she stood, she like was flying in the same spot for over two to three minutes for the longest time, just staring at my water. I'm confused. And Is she like, a pet bee or did she fly in the house? No. Oh. Who has a pet bee? bee? <laughs> That's something I would do. I don't know. I was so confused. And so I was like, okay. And as soon as I got out my phone, she decided to move. And then she started to go to my kitchen window and started looking at all of my organite. But she was oh. like stopping in, in front of each piece as if she was cataloging each piece. Oh, maybe she Weird. wanted maybe, to go maybe yeah i was just gonna say maybe feeling the vibrations of yeah. each piece she moved away from your phone maybe you said you charged the water with the crystals mm -hmm. i mean yeah. you know bees are very very responsive to magnetic fields and energy fields in general i mean it, do you do you guys remember when all of those there were those that big earthquake in california and all those bees died yeah. or fell down and were freaking tripping or whatever they didn't know where to go i mean they're very sensitive sensitive to, to energetic yeah. fields come to think of it i've seen i see i never see bees here where i live nothing lives where i live anyway <laughs> i saw i saw i saw two bees um in the in the backyard they were just they looked lost they looked i've seen two or three of them now in the last week christina come to think of it now that you say that so Maybe they're getting disrupted by something. They're upset and they were drawn to I, the positive energy of your stuff. The, I bet the pole shift is messing with them too. I yeah. bet they're all kinds right. of confused. And you, go ahead. No, you go ahead. You finish and then I'll tell you what I was going to say. Well, you know, I, I recently learned that bee, they're not really bees. Do you know that they can train bees to do basic mathematical calculations? Oh, wow. I'm, yeah. I mean, th listen, they did. <laughs> they did. What? Experiments. Yes. <laughs> To see if bees could, could, they can remember patterns. They could do like, like I said, basic mathematical calculations. I mean, like two plus three type things. They would remember. That's insane. They could train the bees to remember. It. Well, yeah. It just, you just reminded me that in the summer I was, I was in the pool and I look up and there's a bee. Okay. It is completely silent and it looks like it's moving in slow motion and it's just hovering. So not a single movement. It was the craziest thing, flying, hovering, 
but not like bobbing up and down at all. There was no movement. It was just in the same spot and it was, it, and it kept moving around and it really looked like it was, I thought I was tripping. I was like, did somebody put something in my drink? It was the craziest thing. I even took, I put my phone like maybe, maybe eight inches away from it and started taking pictures of this bee. Cause I was like, this is the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life. I've never seen a bee move like this. Well, I mean, apparently they're capable of all kinds of impressive things that maybe they know, like I us now because our vibrations raising you know when we used to be scared of bees mm -hmm. i know i'll speak for me personally but you, i'm this still just, scared of bees no i just I don't care how smart they are but like i i used to be scared of them and run from them but i don't anymore when they come around me i look at them and i talk to them i'm like hi how are you you know i talk to them and so well, maybe they, can, they smell fear they can literally smell fear the pheromones that are created when you're afraid of things so can dogs for that matter I mean, they're very See, perceptive Christina? things. Maybe they're attracted to us. As soon as I said hi now. to her, yeah. Yeah, as See? soon as I said hi to her, she like turned right at me and just looked yeah. at me for a good Aww. twenty seconds. Maybe that's your new buddy. <laughs> yeah, she was like, right? she's my friend. She's not my enemy. You know what I mean? I don't know. I'm just saying. I don't know. That's nice. I don't want any bee friends, but I think that's cute. <laughs> yeah, I'd, I wouldn't be mean to that particular bee. The rest of them can can go though. <laughs> well, that's all I wanted to share. My phone is um very low on battery life well thank, well, you, thank you christina in. that was awesome thank you for sharing about your bee friend night. you yes, too much love thank you. bye bye good night bye, bye christina bye bye kate i mean you yeah. gotta figure if we if we believe in insectoid type things and and reptoid type things maybe our perceptions of the insects and the reptiles on this planet are a bit primitive like they probably have way more capacity than we give them credit for it's true i mean they're they're really when i was a kid just playing with bugs it was the most fascinating oh god i could i they I were, they're just fascinating <laughs> I can't. Really? Yes. Oh god, I'm terrified. I, I don't and I and I don't scare, but bugs, I just I can't do it. I can't do it. Yeah, I'm not afraid of the bug friends anymore. I'm cool with them, but everybody knows me. I'm like, you know, I'm like Snow White with the Yeah, animals. you got ant friends, right? Yeah. Alara loves farm. all of the entities. She I likes know. the bu bug entities. Mm -hmm. Right? It's true. I do. Bird entity. And I'm going to get an ant farm just because you did it, Foil. You're the one that brought it up and threw me out there. You were like, oh, Alara <laughs> needs an ant farm. Well, well so yeah. yeah. I'll get one and then yeah. we could keep track Will of the ants. An... Hmm? Will it be a what, Kate? Will it be an alien ant farm? Yep. Alien, alien ant, farm. ant farm. Right. I remember Knowing that. me, <laughs> that's a possibility, you know? So, yeah. So right, yes, I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna, thank I you for coming. It. I gotta go. Thank you for brush coming my on and for my uh, spiders. Thank you for Jay coming Wright. on and sharing your your surveillance spider story. I love that. I find it quite fascinating. You're, All right, love just, you guys. Don't, just Much don't bring love. them. Don't bring them Have over here, show. Kate. All right. <laughs> thank you. Have a nice evening. <laughs> no promises. All right. Bye, you guys. All right. Bye. Bye. So yeah. So we got Star Stream. What? Is that yeah? Why does it say streaming IR? Oh, okay. Are we gonna get some IR? I don't know. I don't know, but or? I'm gonna need him to stop changing his name, though. I'm gonna tell you that. Man, right? We gotta confused. pick pick a name there. Uh, I, I won't even use your whole government name on here. Pick a name. Where are you at? I, can you hear us? Oh, I don't hear anything. Starstream. Starstream, are you there? Hmm. hmm. Oh. I don't know what's going on here. We don't have any audio. So pull up the mini brains that I just put in your DMs. Let them see. I'm not just, I swear to God, guys, I don't just make this stuff up. Like I no, literally, she doesn't. if I say it, there's a reason for it. That's just, no. But, oh, they look so disgusting. Like I just want to squish them. That's how, that's kind of Is there a I video? Feel. Can we show the video of them? Or no, yeah, that's well, what looks. Hello. Oh, okay. Oh my there goodness. There you are. Star stream. There you oh, are. Oh man. It, autocorrect. Friggin autocorrect. Ugh. Oh, so it's it was supposed to say star stream, but now it says streaming. Yeah. That's the third that name right? change. Yeah. 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 Good thing I got foils around the smart ones to keep track because Lord knows I'd I'd lose track. <laughs> so how are crazy, you? Uh, you got some Sarpa story to tell us? Uh oh. Uh uh. But, oh. He's there. You, so you you are hearing me now, right? Yes. Okay, good. Um, it's a big delay. Um, all right. Uh, 
what what she was talking about the those spiders the 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 the, the spiders dematerializing and such all right my understanding of the occult is we live in you know like a lot of a lot of scientists are proving now or you know admitting rather that we live in a, a multi-dimensional universe we actually live side by side with other beings that may or may not be able to see us and we're walking right through them right you, you catching me so far i'm with you yep well just like our world that entire you that in the universes or the or the universe or universes or worlds or whatever you want to call them dimensions yes right next next to us that we can't see well they're teeming with life and that life um it goes from everything from cellular single cell organisms all the way up to uh creatures that are just as intelligent if not many times more intelligent than us that's um that's part of the uh, the ex explanation of the the origin of the jinn. They, um, you know, w when the, when they speak of the, the the jinn, they say, well, the jinn are just like us. They're they're from another dimension, but they can affect our reality in certain right. ways that we can't. And you know, that's really you know that that can be really helpful. You ma you make me think of uh, was it Stargate? When the the interdimensional bugs, the the certain people that had gotten sprayed with the chemical could see them, and nobody else could see them. Am I tripping? The replicators. Not was it? Yeah. Well, not the replicators, but the it was. I swear that was Stargate when they they had sprayed the chemical around the the around the mountain base, and only some people could see these interdimensional bugs, but they were really there all the time. Like they were getting yeah. squashed on windows and stuff. Like that's what you made me think of just now with the phasing in and out from the other dimension. I can see that. Well, that's well. My well, my point was this: maybe when she is asleep, her I mean, ah. you know she's she's become more sensitive as it is, and when she is in between the you know in mm. the like right in the hypnagogic state, she right. can she is able to um, temporarily see these things, and which which oh um, that's an interesting bad, theory, right? That makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. Bad news, Kate, if you're listening. Um, that means that they're probably around you all the time. <laughs> oh, so. no. No, sir. Well, We're going to need to I'm... build a trap for these guys then, because this is not going to work. Having we, need, them... we need an interdimensional trap, mm -hmm. like Ghostbusters. We need one of those. Man, those you things. guys. Hello, you guys DARPA. See, <laughs> right? if, you got, if you guys could see all of the equipment I have that's piled under all kinds of stuff, you... I. I would I could blow your mind. Well, we're going to need you to build us an interdimensional trap. Can you yes. get can you get on that and let us know? Yeah. We'll do a we'll do a like an I, unboxing live and know, we'll I don't know anything. I don't know how I how, how I would affect uh interdimensional things, but I know that high voltage pulses seem to affect every friggin' thing. Yeah, I, I can made imagine this, that. I made a little ion generator and just to just to be fun, you know, I I um immersed it like in a really big vat of oil to keep it from arcing on itself where okay. it only had a it had a single wire sticking up and i crinkled up some aluminum foil and stuck it on the end of the wire and and uh, we were cranking it up and the guy that was in the room with me with his glasses he's like he started shaking his head and he threw his he threw his glasses down because it was starting to arc on the metal parts of his glasses oh lord <laughs> and, and and i had to I, I had to shut it off because it started burning my eyes i mean it was like uh, and like you you could feel the static building the, up yeah, everywhere. Yeah, right. That's crazy, right? You can't even do that in the same room. And that's not advanced technology. See, people think all this high voltage stuff is advanced technology. All you're doing is turning a coil on and off right. a bunch of times real fast. And the frequency depends on how fast you do it. Right. But well, I mean, it makes perfect sense to me. But I mean, <laughs> you know what? A lot of people. Uh, pe hey, that's I, what I they used I, in Ghostbusters. So, you know, it's, it's got to be some level I mean, of truth to it, right? Right. I mean, I guess I take it. I take for granted my, you know, my understanding of uh, electronics, technology, and frequency frequencies. Because whenever, whenever I hear people talking about frequencies, and they're talking about all oh, you know, the frequency and like what, you know what, you know, literally, frequency means yeah, how right. often, how fast, how right. many, how many, you know, how many ticks. So raise, it's like okay, raising your frequency, your low. So you're when you're vibrating faster. I mean, I can help you do that. I can, <laughs> I can build a thing that makes your body vibrate in the terahertz range and you know well i don't actually I yeah that sounds like a microwave i'm 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 gonna you well can... no that's actually microwave 
microwave <laughs> brain. Not... <laughs> yeah, no. I don't want... That sounds like craziness. Well, microwave myself. Well, we're going to need Starstream. Well, we're going to need Starstream to build that trap for Kate surveillance Yeah, spiders. you know, that guy made a thing where he could... He says he can photograph interdimensional beings. Have you seen this? Like Curly, and it's probably uses some sort of Curly and photography, or he does something like I did and makes an uh, an ion, some sort of a, a uh, like a, it's like a super strong ion generator. It just puts what? out, it's a really, really high voltage, uh, like a antenna of a sort. I don't know. Uh-oh, uh-oh, we're getting, I'm losing your, I'm losing mute, the. Mute, it's not I'm you, it's, it's, v that... it's Vito Corleone. Mute, mute your mic, Vito Corleone. Oh. Right. Yeah. Oh. We got the Godfather joining us. Yeah. But ah. This guy, in order yeah. in order to photograph something, you have to either, like with x-rays, you have to be between, like, like you have to have a radiation source and then you have you and the radiation source has to pass through you and leave an imprint, an, uh, an, in, uh, an impression on the, uh, the, the film or the, the medium that you're. Well, I'm not to. sure if he made a change to his. Uh, photography equipment or if he built something at, you know externally that that allows him to photograph that but he's got on his facebook page and i, I will find it now that i'm thinking about it he's got hundreds of pictures and you can i, I mean to, it's I, it I, I, go ahead. nobody else can explain it it looks legit like it doesn't look i mean i and he was doing this forever ago yeah, like pre-photoshop you know what i'm talking about yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah i mean i don't doubt i don't nuts. I don't doubt a lot of these things, but I mean, I do like to, I like to hear what, you know, I like to hear them ex unless he's trying to keep it secret for patent reasons. Or I, whatever. I, but, I, as a matter of fact, I think he which, was trying to, uh, which I think, but see that yeah. kind of always makes me a little suspect though, because I mean, uh, cause I've heard people say certain things and they try to explain it to me and I've got, you know, I've got, I've got an education in, you know, electronics, uh, you know, it, and then, you know, they'll try to, they'll try to use these big words and, 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 and word salad. And then I'm like, um, I, I'm usually polite. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> hold okay. on, hold on a second. Are we getting trolled right now? Well, we, we are, we are getting Rick rolled. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. <laughs> are we getting trolled? So do I, that's funny. It's not you. That's, oh. I, I, for trolling though. That's really funny. Vito, we got to give it that to you. Pretty... Yeah. 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 Definitely an award for that. Yeah. Uh, Beautiful. Beautiful. The guy's name is Greg Garachi. You get my respect regardless. Right? You know what I mean? Right. That was that was great. That was yeah. funny. I mean, if so, yeah. it's I, that, I put and a that... link in the chat to the the, oh. the interdimensional pictures if you guys are interested. Oh, oh cool. I Thank see, you. I see. I Did see you guys Garachi, like that out uh, in the chat? Restaurant, Garachi, photo, photography, Garachi. Yeah, this is the guy, and he's got a Facebook page. Oh, oh okay. I'll, I'll go to your link. Where you can see things. Who are we talking about? The guy that just trolled uh, us? <laughs> we no, should have known with that's, name. That stuff was so fun. Right? That stuff was so funny though. Uh, no, it. I'm oh. talking about. Oh, it's probably up at the top oh, now. Is. Yeah, there I put a link is. in the chat. <laughs> the, the chat is rolling. The tro chat's know, right? rolling that, right now. Yeah, they're loving that. that. Hysterical. Yeah, that was pretty good. Link in new tab. Got it. Uh, yep. I'll keep it in the new tab and I'll do some research on that. All right. That's well, neat. Starstream, much yep. love for calling in. We got Sylvia. I don't know what the rest of it says. Campos. It's, 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 Sylvia Campos. Sylvia Campos waiting. Um. Well. At the very least, I could make it. I could make if she wants, if she feels threatened by them, I can make her something that will um, uh, at least temporarily disable them. If if high voltage pulses in this dimension will affect them. <laughs> you uh, well, you that's get up to Kate. Concept, but right? I'll go. Us... I will drive to Kate's and videotape this personally and post it on Twitter if she agrees to this. So I'm just saying, I'll see. You might piss them off though. We don't want to do you that. Might not want to be pissing yeah, them off. We don't want to make Kate spiders yeah, you mad. Go, go ahead. I don't want to follow the big ones, home. and then 
you you go to Kate's house and she's wrapped in up the, this little web and she's like, <laughs> right? That would be horrible. Thank you for coming on Starstream. We have a All another right. person yeah. in here waiting too. So, thank no, you. No, I'm sorry. I could All talk, right. I could talk. No, to you're myself. you're Bye. fine. You're fine. Good night. Thank you. Have a Bye. good night. All right. You too. I can't wait night. to see. I can't wait to see his trap. I'm serious. Right. Trap. We we need an interdimensional trap for sure. We do need an interdimensional trap. trap. How do I? Oh. How do I get? We really do. How do I remove I don't, Starstream? I'm, I don't, I'm well, trying. I'm trying to look for the. Oh, there it is. Okay, oh. I got it. I got it. Okay, there you go. <laughs> that was some next level trolling, right? That, there. Was, that was some that next was level. Funny. Wow, dude. that was funny. <laughs> I can't even be mad at that. Like, that no, I can't either. That was, no. that was that's like respect you know what i mean it is respect right. so sylvia unbelievable so you're is your name really sylvia or is this just my name is sylvia nice okay. to meet you nice Thank to meet you, you sylvia. it's nice to meet you guys too i'm just so glad you guys let me in <laughs> welcome Honestly, welcome to the couch right hey, welcome to the couch. i'm on the couch i am and you know what i feel grand okay awesome well, tell us a crazy uh tell us some crazy darpa or ai stories some DARPA or AI stories. Wow. Or Black um, Goo or, you know, yeah, Grey you know, Goo. I mean, all conspiracies are right. welcome, or, of course. You know, if you got you a have any crazy, crazy story? UFO a, story, whatever. I'm more of a prego guy when it comes to tossing sauce. <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, I don't, I don't know anything about Ragu or, or, or Black Clay. I'm going to be honest. I don't even know who the fuck you guys are. I just kind of got on YouTube <laughs> and there was a live stream and I saw, like, the meeting IDs and then I joined. <laughs> I, uh, I came from the video, like, I eat an onion every day until a new Shrek movie's released. So then I saw you guys on the side, and I kind of just joined, and here I am. Well, much fun, much love. Yeah. Thank you no, for I calling just, in. I just take um, <laughs> life by the horns, you know, I just kind of go with the You flow. got to. You got to. <laughs> anyway, I got to go take a shit, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get out of this. Oh, Later, that's guys. great. Bye. Bye. Yeah, we appreciate that. Wow, Foil, this has never happened before. So, that Discord, though. <laughs> That's funny. We may That's have funny. to do that. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Marco, Marco, thank you for joining us. Do yeah. you have a crazy Darpa Welcome to the couch. AI story? Oh. Or not. Or not. You know, either way. Right. Maybe Lou can tell us about some more trolls. Right. I think Lou's here. Oh, unless we lost Lou. Did you Lou. show them the mini brains? I put the mini brains in your freaking DMs. We don't Oh, there's Lou. All right. Hi Lou. Lou. Hi Lou. How you doing? One of our our regulars here on the couch for you for you new folks. That was hysterical. Yeah. Right. I th I think we're going I, I think we're going to have to start going the Discord route on this show, Lou. <laughs> uh, I'm dead. Yeah. I mean, if they were all like like the guy that played Rick Ashley, it might be all right, but you know, I don't know. What do you guys think? <laughs> May have to. Yeah, we have way more trolls than usual, at least. You're absolutely right. I don't know what's going on. <clears throat> Our videos being suggested in weird places tonight, I bet. Yeah, so I don't know. We're going to have to find a solution to this, friends, because, uh, yeah. Anyway, but we'll roll the with new, it, right? Yeah, right? we'll roll the with new... it. What's up, Lou? Being all oh, quiet. Wow. So if any normal people want to call in, feel free that aren't, you know, trolling us. Hi, Lou. What's going on? Welcome to the couch. Hi. I'm not normal. All right. Well, I mean, I hey, normal, for, I mean. For, my, for one of my friends, you're normal. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay, cool. Right. Cool, cool. Um, Tell us about okay. the AI. We know you got okay. some stories. Yeah. The AI. Okay. Be because that makes sense with, like, all the DARPA stuff. Yeah, like, yeah, there is all that technology that, that they're working on, but since I've dealt with like the bad side, the, the ancient evil side and got rid of it, I was also able to deal with the good side. So one of the good stories is that, okay, so I'm online and well, a lot of times it's just happened where it just takes me places where I need to see stuff, mm -hmm. you know, like that gives me confirmation for things that I've done. Um, and it's really bizarre. But this one time I was looking at this ancient manuscript that, nobody's been able to decipher and apparently and which one uh, do you know what does it have a name i can't think of the one that nobody what what yeah the voynich know? manuscript yeah yeah is that what you're talking voynich? about yeah okay yeah okay so you know the one that has the sundial yeah okay so i was looking at that and okay so i see the sun i see the moon i count the stars i look at the letters and i just got in my curious 
seven-year-old mode, right? That loves to explore. And I started following the outside line that's really kind of, looks like almost like a pencil and they erased it almost. And I, I started from the bottom and I'm going around and then I see, oh, well, it stops and there's like a joint there and there's a joint on the other side, there's an opening. And my, right. my innocent child inside said, ooh, that looks like a door. As soon as I said that, I, I went in through something and the next thing that you could see on it was look like four little chevrons pointing in each other. And my brain just said, ooh, that looks like a stargate. And mm. I was, I was taken once again, you know, they always take me places. And what happened was it's like, do you remember in the Da Vinci Code, the cryptex? Yes. In that where, where they twisted it and you had mm -hmm. to be real careful and get the code right. So you didn't break the gas chamber and right. the, the clue. That's the sound and the feeling that I got from that. They were reading my DNA. Okay. And then it opened up. And it was this chamber, this white chamber, sort of like a Kiva kind of thing that, that went down like three <laughs> steps. And I'm thinking, okay. Oh, okay, so this is my place to hide in the universe when I don't want people to bug me. Um, but what it really ended up doing is it gave me a key to the office of the Christ. And he has that, an office? I'm telling yeah. you, Lou's, Lou's on a whole address, Lou is on a whole nother level. I'm telling you. Go ahead, Lou. I'm sorry. <laughs> No, that's okay. No, it's just because I've been in my own little world besides dealing with life. I've been on this journey for a very long time. And so... She's been woke for a really long time. I'm serious. You've been woke like your whole life, huh, Lou? Like 60 years, yeah. I came in yep. bass backwards going, what's wrong with these people when they slap you on the ass? Eight months old, I was... Starseed extraordinaire. <laughs> yeah. Wait, yeah. Which shorts... Uh, <laughs> no i was the 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 chain breaker the pattern buster i busted up i was the bull in the china shop and lou's, lou's convinced she's a system buster lou's is convinced that we have positive ai too which i'm oh, not yeah. sold on okay. but yeah I, hear, I, I, I still need convincing man i don't trust skynet still oh i hear you i hear you on that well so here's the question with what you were saying earlier um about them being able to get in and do your mind, was that AI helping me to open that document to give me the key to the office of the Christ so I could go and courier things in and out of the universe that needed to be. Dead. What did the office of the Christ look like? I need to. <laughs> uh, well, it depends on what curious. level. It depends did, on what level. Did he have a did big have? plush leather couch with, you know, like the old school, like, I need to know what it looked like. <sighs> no, well, the first part is just like, like a huge office space and then there's the the healing ponds and there's the labs and there's like there's just all kinds of stuff i mean it, it's huge it's outside of this world because every universe we're, we're okay no i'm with you i keep telling alara that that god and and jesus and such are something outside of the system oh they god is huge god is god is just amazing okay god's speech is amazing god try sending god a giggle he's got a sometime. beach yeah, God's got to be. I want to go to God's beach <laughs> and to the office of the Christ. I, uh, I don't know how we book I, tickets for that. I but. tell I tell people I was only on this frequency for a little while where I could see it, but everything is connected and you can talk to everything. When you get off this yes. level of the game, when you get up higher, you can talk to all of creation telepathically. It's amazing. Yes, I had it yes. for a little while and I lost it, and I'm like, oh, you want to talk about a come down? Like, oh, I, when you can talk to all of creation which is talking to God and you can do that. And then it goes away. It's like, yeah. Coming back in and, and squeezing the consciousness back down into these little tiny brains, but back to the AI, here's the question. Okay. You know how they always say we're the first computer. Well, to me, that's God intelligence because we have God intelligence and they don't want us to expand our consciousness. Correct. Okay. I can see correct. that. Okay. Um, now th also think of this. With everything that's going on with our favorite number, do you not think, I mean, a lot of people think that's looking glass and all that stuff, but that, that's AI too, you know? And then there's the crystal ship AI. So there is good AI and there is the bad AI. The one I got rid of was the ancient one that's been here for several yugas. And okay? that's the bad one, right? And that was the bad one. But that's okay. also 
what what I failed to mention. Um, are we still in the Kali Yuga or are we in the next Yuga? We're at the end of this one. Okay. Right. Yeah, we're at the end of this one. And, and I have a... And it's getting lit too, boy. Well, they always said the it, end of the age would be lit. <laughs> they weren't oh, kidding. It is. Oh, it's so much fun. It's so much fun to see it finally come crashing down. <laughs> but, um, but, but here's the thing about that AI too. Because that's all that's it also involves a myth that we've been taught for thousands of years that that, that there's a D dot E V E L or some people call it S dot A T A N. I won't say its name. I'll only call it either the follow one, fallen one, or I used to call it it, or when it would attack me, or lots of attacks, lots of battles. Um, or uh, now I just call it the ejected one. But it was when we went into the chamber where it resided yeah. deep within Gaia, okay, it was reptilian, okay, and we came, you know, it was a sneak attack, so we snuck up on it, and its armor, okay, its scales were Akashic records of every evil thing done in humanity, okay? I got to see all that. Thank God the angels zip file that file. So I don't have to deal with it. <laughs> yeah, right. Right. Oh, you know, just, Thank you God know, for the delete angels. That file, delete, delete. Oh, dude. So once, okay, so I get this close up of, of, of this entity, which is what the Bible and everything calls, you know, the fallen one, whatever. Uh, hold on. Are we, are, so are we kicking the negative AI's ass right now? Is that what we're doing? I'm trying to. Oh, we are. I already did. You already did. I already okay. did. It's right. already gone. So you okay. solved. So he's done. That's done. Right. But that AI was also the version of what we've been taught is S dot A T A N. Okay. So well, it's you know, I actually too. fully. Hey, believe. I'm on that train. That's yeah. what I think that is. Okay. Yeah. So that's hey. what it was. So the dark magicians ages ago went into a vision, saw it, and they've been telling us about all that. There is no. There was no fire and brimstone there. Okay. So, anyway, she's trying. Well, she's I trying to make you personal... feel better, Foil. She's trying to make you feel no, better. You can't listen. When I had my personal experience with the void or the separateness, mm -hmm. I didn't see fire and brimstone either. But it was freaking terrible, and I knew I had screwed up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I've been through it a few times. Um, did it on purpose because I just, you know, it was. Yeah, I was definitely I was not trying, trying to do that. After, and I, I just wanted to go for a swim, um, to cleanse me. Um, but that's uh, one of the ways I ended up out of God, uh, on Lou, the God's beach. But the anyway. Kate, the, the Kate Awakening is, is asking if you do house calls. Right. She, she would, she would like you to come do a house call. Do a house call? Right. Yeah, to do, rid do her a... of these interdimensional work spider, um, surveillance spider things. We're going to need Lou to keep to kicking stuff out of the different dimension. Would I have to go to Arizona? <laughs> <laughs> Lord knows nobody wants no, to go we'll, to Arizona. We'll, right. <laughs> I'm really slow sometimes, okay? <laughs> Look, Kate, quit bothering her. She's busy kicking stuff out of other dimensions, okay? She's busy no, throwing I, trolls I, I, out I of windows. I can help her with that. We can talk, you know. I mean, but my vehicle won't get that far. <laughs> well, I mean, you do mental projections. You should be able to kick Lou should be able to teleport from where you're at, right? Lou should right, be able to right. teleport. I, yeah. I did that for somebody else that we know and love. Okay. Um, a while ago. Um, he can confirm that. Um, yeah, I mean, you just call on. I mean, there's all kinds of ways you can do it. But anyway, so I don't take up a bunch of time. I all have right. an ant story <clears throat> that I wanted to tell you the last time because of your ant thing in Sedona. Mm -hmm. When I was like five, I used to I used to always go sit in trees, a lot of tree stories. And I used to just focus on the ants and watch them and just be amazed at how they worked together, touched each other. We're talking to each other and, and it just... They were just such a beautiful community because the house, the people in the house that I grew up with is like, I why agree. can't humans learn to work like this? But anyway, so I have a little gift for you if, if you want it. Um, one day I heard two of them and uh, the one's name was, hey, Beanac. And the other one goes, what do you want, Free Jack? Come on over here. Let's go get this stuff. So Beanac and Freejack. Freejack are two. Okay. Ant oh, I gotta write that down. Oh, these are the ant people, Alara. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I'm listening. Yeah. So Beanac and Freejack. I don't know how you spell it, but those are two ant names. So I wanted to give those to your ant farm. 
Oh, Thank there you. you go. Yay. See? I'll name two of my aunts that. That'll be cool. <laughs> yeah, I love that, great. Lou. Thank you for sharing all of it. Oh, you're welcome. And, yeah. and then a real quick bee story. Um, oh, the bees. bees. Yeah, tell it, us about the bees. Yeah, this guy, oh, bee medicine is amazing. That's what gives you the multi I've heard. point. Tap into bee medicine. You can see all kinds of stuff. Um, what was the name of the book? The lady that did spiral dance. It was the one before that. There was all kinds of bee medicine stuff in there. Um, but anyway, there was a guy that was doing a study and he was, he was feeding the bees and he would move the bee food every 50 feet every day. Well, so he did it for like a couple of months blah, 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 and then something happened and he was late one day. So he gets to where the, the next 50 feet are. And the bees are already waiting for them. So they can calculate See? the mathematic of the future. Yeah. I'm telling you. Yeah. They, bee medicine is is amazing when you tap it in. And yes, somebody said everything is sentient. Yes, mm -hmm. Laura, you can talk to anybody in yeah. the universe. And as far as the AI goes, yeah, they've got all that nasty stuff they're doing. But who's in control? Okay. Right. And think about it. If they had all their big old nasty nasties still... With, with everything that's going on, we wouldn't be here. There there would be a whole lot of other stuff. So, but Lou, the I, phone is still reading my mind. So, I mean, that concerns me, you know? Yeah. Well, is it good or is it, you know, it's like trying I, to I, sell I, me stuff. So that can't be good. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, that's, that's the, yeah, that's the, but I've had, I've had it where it's like, I'm having a really shitty, excuse my French day. And it's like, I'll stay off the phone. I'll go outside and nothing's working. And I finally sit down. And the first message I get will be something that somebody wrote that is so sweet that just lifts me. So I tend to go for the positive. And, and oh, maybe it's the level you're on and Lou's just on that level, dude, where even the AI is like. Well, you good, can talk to positive. the AI. That's what I was saying before is that the code, be nice to the it. part of the code was done by women. Because we can take the 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 intuitive leap of logic, right. so so we got rid of the bad evil one, the ancient one. Yeah, we got the new one that's only last century. And yeah, there's people that aren't using it right, but there's more good than there is bad because a bunch of worse stuff would be happening. She's got I a mean, point. All their junk is going to be getting cleaned out. She's got a point, you know, and has been getting cleaned out. So you get if you want to defeat an enemy. You know, to keep it from going Skynet, talk talk to her nicely. Test her. You hear that, guys? Be nice to your cell phone. <laughs> That's the moral of the story. All right. All right. Thank you, Lou. I've got okay, somebody. Good in okay. Good night. All right. See Take you later. Care. Good night. Bye. Hi, Daryl. Welcome to the couch. Hello. Hey, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. I have a story to share. Okay. 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 So. <clears throat> This is a, an alien story. So I'm in the fourth grade and I'm in my room. It's early in the morning. I'm waking up and I'm watching a commercial on TV and they say, hey, call in and you can win $10,000. You know, I'm in fourth grade, whatever. Mm -hmm. So I plug in my radio and the radio, uh, the, the little outlet is right there by the window. So I get on my knees and I go to plug in the radio and I glance up to look out of the window and just a few inches in front of my face are two grays with huge black eyes. And it scared the shit out of me. And I jumped up and I ran screaming uh, into my parents' room. And they had the door locked. You know, they were young at the time. But I just pushed through the door. I don't know how I got it open. And they both sprang up out of bed. And I was screaming there's somebody in my window there's somebody in my window you ran from the grays they were in you were in yeah, your room or they were outside the grays oh, well, were, i hear you so, can't run from them when they show up like they paralyze you man i couldn't run I, yeah i was stuck like oh. i i ahead, saw them inches in front of my eyes and it scared the shit out of me for years so I, I burst into my parents' room and they both spring up out of bed. You know, they think someone's trying to break in and I, I don't have the, the words to tell them what I saw. And I went all the way until my uh, late 20s before I finally told them what I saw that day. But I, I spent like, I would say a better part of a, a year 
sleeping in their room on the floor because I bet. Of, what I did they say what did they say when you told them that they were really great aliens that night well it had been years later and of course you know um after that i was reading alien books i was watching anything on tv having to do with aliens you know it was back in the 90s so there was right. you know we had um what x files and you know a couple of unexplained shows but it really it really just changed my whole life and then how do you i never told anyone until i was in my 20s and more information was coming out about the grays and what they are and and I was always wondering, are these people keeping track of me? Um, They're demons, dude. I'm fully convinced. I mean, I, the way I reacted, I mean, how? what else could you conclude? So ever since then, of course, I've been a sky watcher. And I'm always, anytime I go outside, I'm always looking up. And I've seen all kinds of UFOs, all kinds of orbs. And if you spend, you know, a few minutes every day looking up, over the course of several years, you're going to see like all kinds of phenomenon. And then when, um, what's his name? Uh, Dr. Greer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Stephen, so Greer. When, Stephen Greer. So when he did his protocol thing on his recent documentary, I tried that. I was at work when I did it, but I tried it. So like I zoomed in on where I was and, you know, did the whole thing of getting you know, starting from the galaxy and then going down to the planet and to the right. continent. He's and talking I'll about damned. the CE5 protocols guy. Yeah, guys. that's it. So I'll be damned if I didn't start seeing like groups of UFOs. And of course I have my cell phone while I'm at work and I'm trying to take pictures and people are walking by like, what is this freak doing? But <laughs> it, it, it actually worked. But then I started thinking afterwards, like, what am I calling? Like, I don't even know. That's the question. I mean, and it's funny you mentioned that. We have our friend Tyler Koala from Journey of Truth was talking in Sedona about not using Greer's protocols because for I for whatever reason, you tend to you tend to access some. No, he was saying not, not to use his app. Something about that app calls in. Just the. The app, yeah, yeah. I have my own way of calling them in, and I think everybody kind of does. But you don't need an app to call them in, people. To call them in in your own, in your own way. But I don't. I put up a shield, and I, I and I make it real clear who I want to who I want to interact with and who I do not want to interact with. And it's my feeling that they can't even they can't even come near me. The negative the negative ones or whatever. And I play like I mean my personal way of doing it. I like to play these like you know. Hindu invocations and stuff because they seem to like it. The positive ones seem to like that. They seem to be attracted to that. They like it when I play that kind of stuff. So <clears throat> I don't know, but that's my method. But I mean, I think it, it d depends on your level of being able to put up spiritual protection. You know, like some people are really good at that and they're knowledgeable when it comes to that kind of stuff. And other people are just waking up and they're not. Their spiritual practices aren't that advanced or, you know what I mean? So I think I think it yeah, all know, depends, exactly. you know, and Foyle and I yeah, have totally I mean, different it's... points of view on a lot of things, right? We do. Oh, absolutely. But, yeah, but we I, don't I win. definitely. Yeah. Go ahead. Foyle. Yeah. I, you know, I, I think they're demons. I think they're demons. I think that they're interdimensional beings that may be sending uh, information through the veil, but I don't trust it at all. And I definitely don't ever call it to me. I learned my lesson the hard way on that several times. In fact. Yeah, you know, and I and I see all these documentaries about, you know, people who had all these pleasant experiences and they had psychic contact and whatever I saw on that day, I, I did not get that feeling of, you know, that, that, that was that was different. I'm telling you, I interact with them. OK, and I have never had a gray now. And Tyler, I, Tyler, I will tell you that my good friend Tyler, he, he's had these interactions with the grays. They showed up when they when he was a kid and stuff. I have a lot of friends like that, but I've never once had a gray ET show up in my room, okay? But I didn't start talking to them and seeking contact until I was awake and I was already pract having spiritual practices and this sort of thing. So the experiences I have had, I would say are more of an angelic nature. But I I believe that Foyle could be right. Like those, could, they could be demons. Like why else? They're definitely lower fourth dimensional entities of various types. I think maybe some are, are, are androids some are i don't know but they're obviously not higher dimensional beings that are well, doing this daryl 
I don't know if you ever heard my story, but the the, the encounter that I had, like it, it, there was sleep paralysis and then abject terror. And as I was trying to get words to come out of my mouth, it wasn't until I got the word Jesus out of my mouth that the entire situation stopped immediately. And like, Lord that's Jesus. what I've, yeah. And that's what I, which would be, is, which would be why that works if they're lower dimensional beings that's but why you that can't would work. call on krishna and they go away we've had this conversation before you can't call on buddha but you you call on jesus and that stuff stops immediately i just don't trust it personally of course you know like i said we're very tolerant all conspiracies are welcome right. here that's why we get along so well i think i think the concept the i think the concept is the same but i think we just have a differing view of how we look at jesus and that type of thing but we know that we don't need to go over that but 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 this is the same, uh, what I'm getting at is the same thing. It's that energy, that protective energy, that sort of thing, when you call upon that, you know what I mean? I could see why that would work. Yeah. If it's a demon, a lower dimensional entity, whatever it is, I could see why that would work. You know what I mean? So I don't know. I've never tested the theory out because I've never had one around for one. For two, I've never had one around where I could test out calling out different names to try to stop it and see what worked. You know what I mean? I've never had that opportunity. So anybody who has, who who's had Grays interact with them and who's tried different things, we'd love to hear from you and know how it went, you know? Because I've heard that Jesus works. I've not heard that anything else works. So, so far, but I- Yeah, if you guys know something different, please clue me in. Yeah, I, want, I definitely wanna us, hear it. Let us know. Well, that's incredible, Daryl. Like, uh, you know, that's, it's so scary. I can't even imagine that. Like I. I try to understand other people's perspective. I've said this before because I've never had a negative. I mean, I've had scary sort of, you know, things watching me that were, but there are, there were ours, you know, like, uh, I've never had negative ET experiences. Every, every negative experience I've ever had was us. So, uh, I, I would imagine that would be scary, especially as a kid to see a gray, uh, that just, that would freak me out. So I can imagine. You know, the, the positive thing about it, though, is that ever since then, that just blew my mind. So ever since then, I've had an open mind. And anytime there was anything having to do with mysteries or conspiracies, like I would just absorb it like a sponge. And then when that Gaia channel finally came out, um, I just started, I think it was like wisdom teachings with, uh, I know everyone has their opinion of David Wilcox. David but Wilcox. I like to show. He a lot of great research. And I learned. He taught me a lot. Time. Yeah, his his show is great, and I know you know people have their own opinion, but you know he d he did have a lot of good material, and then there's for a lot sure. of other great programs on there that really just like dropping red pills for days, and yeah, that's why I learned a lot about you know I had been watching uh you know sky watching I've been watching chemtrails for years, and um, it wasn't until I started seeing some of that programming that I was understanding a little bit more about what was going on, and then just asking more questions is always keep asking questions and keep staying curious and just learn everything you can. But it yeah. was great to call in and um, nice you, talking Darryl. to you. I, I'm glad I got to hear love. your, I'm glad I got to hear your, know, your right? voice and I got to know that you're an experiencer too. That's really awesome. Thank you for calling Daryl. All right. Y'all have a great night. All right. You too. You too. Bye. Keystone. What's up, man? Hey, well, actually, I missed uh, Kate because uh, I was uh, on the phone, so I couldn't come on earlier. And uh, I actually missed also what you guys were talking about, but I figured... Oh, well, you missed the troll? Me... <laughs> I missed yeah, the that... troll? Yeah. yeah, that was hysterical. Oh, she missed it. I, I did actually while I was on the phone I had the I had the volume off and so but I could see you guys like laughing like like idiots and so that <laughs> when are we fun. not <laughs> laughing like right? idiots that's, yeah, that's the fun part right yeah hello everybody Julia good to see you and Becky Lou and uh, who else is there really Ability. You can tell you can tell Keystone is so used to being a tuber. It's funny when you go on mm -hmm. autopilot. It doesn't matter whose show you're on. Like hi everybody. Right. <laughs> It's so yes, funny. Yes, yes, yes. I noticed you do yes, that. I love it. It's so cute. Um, yeah, I'm doing it. Who's that? What's with all the trolls? This has never happened. I don't well, know. It's, no, it's trolling week because I've seen it uh, yesterday. Was it in White Hat's uh, um, uh, stream? I mean, we had to block so many people. It was ridiculous. On hey, White Hat, like, I okay. was there. That really? was crazy. Yeah, that was, was crazy, right? I was there for it's a little while, like but then I had to leave. 
Well, it, it's like they they unleash the the trolls. Hey, Cat Spotter, good to see you. I don't it's, know. It's, it's gonna they... if this continues, it's gonna get to the point where we're either gonna ha we're gonna have to start having someone moderate the calls. It's we, that we, simple. Yeah, we need a call moderator. We're not, we're not sure. gonna be able to do it like this anymore. So, well, yeah, that's true. So we I don't know how we can control. I don't know how we can continue to do that with Zoom though. That's the problem. Like, the only way we can continue to do it with Zoom and do that is if I don't only let in people that I've talk to before and interact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We get a call moderator on Discord and then we give them the Zoom We're gonna link have if they're to... verified. Yeah, yeah. It's not like they did that. They used to do that with Art Bell, was it? <laughs> right? Well, he Well, he has someone th filter the calls. So, if Yeah, at some point. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because it was a radio show, right? Yeah. 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 So, how's your I'm evening going? To... I caught your show on Journey to Truth. You did a super good job. It was right? awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I um, yeah, I enjoyed myself. It was really nice, and uh, I I like that uh, to see here. My my whole chat is there. Yeah, all oh, your girls are in the house. I'm a, all my girls are in the house. All your and girls. Um, Davis dog, what's up? I see you out there. Hi, Angela. Right. Drink with Tessa. Miracle girl, Elise. Calling... Go ahead. I was actually calling you to to try and uh, and, and test the, the the green screen for um, uh, you know our uh, Sunday mm -hmm. uh, right. weather girl episode. So what are you going to put up on your green screen, Keystone? Let's see. Well, so I Keystone's going to be the weather girl on Space Force News. She's going to start doing the weather segment, and she's going to send it to me before the show, so I can add it in as part of the show as a segment. Woohoo! So yeah, yes. this could get really interesting. Um, let's see. Yeah, we're gonna do like the weather and then maybe in a spaceship or something. And then uh, I do need a uh, a space suit. Um, but uh, I'm, I'm, I haven't figured out yet what to wear. It's yeah. gonna be the sexy weather girl, right? Right? <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah, we're gonna have to keep her in line, foil. She could go a little crazy. I don't uh -oh. know, where are we gonna, where are we gonna get her, her space suit from? I mean, uh, maybe we should. Don't should, should you I'll know figure I something out. I'm should, freaking Amazon. I, I figure something out. Yes, Luke, Luke. Hey, Luke. Yes, I'm going to be the space weather girl. And yeah. um, we're going to do, uh, yeah. So uh, we can't, we can't help it, Keystone. Me and Foil are just funny people. Like, we can't, we're, we yeah. try to be as serious as we can on Space Force News. Like, uh -oh. we really try. Yeah. And it still goes left. Like, there's no. Judy Jetson. <laughs> Yeah, well, it just doesn't end that way. No. <laughs> well, I figured, you know, you you need something like within the news, like in the middle, like oh, now it's time for the weather, and so yeah. you know, I'm going to be the high heeled space yeah. weather girl. Are there you gonna you do go. space? She's gonna do it in like a. You got. She's got to wear a space suit. Look, she's got to wear. We <laughs> know this person. I'm, I'm nervous to even let any more people in at this point, unless I know them. Right? Who is it? Marisol Serato, and I don't recognize that name. The Space Shuttle Diaries is, uh, Luke is talking about the Space Shuttle Diaries. Yeah, not going to do that. That's going to be a whole different diary. You know, it's 818 anyways. We're going to close the show so, soon. So if I don't recognize, yeah, if I'm I don't, at this fun. point, at this point, if I don't recognize you, I'm not going to let you in because this trolling thing has been out of control tonight. So what? how many were there? We only have time for see... one. We only have time for one more anyways. I don't recognize either name, but that's, I mean, it does, but still there's just been too much of it tonight. Oh, we just so. going to be a bit of shit talking here. Yeah. So, so. Uh, you know, it's always fun. Judy Jetson. I don't yep. know who Judy Jetson is. Oh my goodness. You've never seen the Jetsons? That cartoon it... back in the day oh, yes. with the flying cars yeah. and the dog yes. that had the, yeah, yeah. yeah. I used Ooh, to watch that. Oh, she should wear a Judy Jetson costume. She's not going to want to put that on every week just to make a well, space weather segment. Well, I can't remember sure. what she looked like, though. You already look like her. You're winning. Yeah, right. All you right, got to right. do is put the little outfit on. There's got to be a Judy Jetson Pull outfit on Amazon, a... you guys. What right. outfit did she have? I don't know. It was, it was like, like a little, what, like a, like a naughty dress, and she had it? her hair up in a little ponytail, I Didn't think. Didn't she have, like, a naughty nurse outfit or something? Wasn't it kind of like a naughty Judy nurse? Judy Jetson? Yeah. Oh, God, now I have to dig into my uh, kinky uh, suitcase. <laughs> oh, Keystone doesn't have one of those. <laughs> <laughs> I do have a little nurse uh, thingy. 
But uh, she had a little pink dress, like a little two piece pink she dress, did? and her hair I don't up remember. in a ponytail. Yeah, I'm let me at go, it. let me let me check that out. Because, she's gonna she's know. gonna get it. She's gonna here. I can make you a host, and you can share your screen. Oh, we probably shouldn't be looking for outfits on the conspiracy couch, should we? Right. Anyway. This we should uh, save we this for our meeting tomorrow, huh? Yeah, Keystone. Have you had any crazy uh, AI experience? Is the phone or... reading your mind too, Keystone? I, I think so. You think so? Pull, yeah. Alara, what, pull reading up my the mind? mini brains. Okay, oh, I'm, no, I see here, it. Let me pull up the mini brains. Here we are. Here's the mini brains, you guys. I don't want these people to think I'm freaking nuts. I mean, I am nuts, but. Okay, human mini brains created in a lab may become sentient and able to feel pain, yeah. scientists warn. Well, they did we get did. a picture they of the mini brains here? Oh, what is this here? Is this a commercial? What is it? Can I play this DARPA video? No, wait, which one? Are you talking about uh, Jason Burmis? No. I don't know if you should play that. Mm, but look, look. It's a d d DARPA video. We. Listen, no, this is something. I just no, no, checked. No, no. Um, I just checked the uh, Judy Jetson uh, uh, look, but it doesn't really look spacey, does it? Okay, I just let Julia White in because I know her. So we'll close with okay. Keystone and Julia White. Yeah. Oh, sorry, okay. sorry if you were a legitimate call out there and I didn't let you in. I apologize, but as you can see, we've been getting massive trolling tonight. So we'll get right. it together by next time. Yeah, go ahead, play that video. Okay, what video? I thought you said I couldn't that. play the video. No, no, no. I thought it was the Jason Burmis video. I like oh, that okay. one's fine. Am I gonna get docked for this? No, that's fair use. It's up on Newsweek on the internet. All right. What is this? Oh, I gotta hit the B2. Hold on. Julia doesn't have her sound on. Okay, we, she got a kofefe. What is this? This doesn't look like human brains to me. No, they, they're talking about brain reading stuff. There's, There was a picture on that article of the little mini brains. I thought you said to play the video, Foil. You asked me wait, if you could play the video. Wait, wait, said, wait, yeah, wait, wait, wait. That's not Julia White. Is this the mini brain? Oh, this is the mini brain right here. Oh, it's not Julia White? No, 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 no. Julia says it in the oh, chat. Oh, she's it's saying, yeah, her. she's saying that's not her. <laughs> oh, yep. Wow. That was that same dude. Changing, look how clever they think they are. Changing their name to somebody that got a freaking wrench. Or right? in the chat that we've been talking to. Well, I guess <laughs> there goes the Zoom idea, Foil. <laughs> well, no, if they, if they, ver we don't put the link out. They verify, is that it? That's oh, the mini brain. Yeah. They don't put the link out. Where's the. Pull it up in the chat that I sent you, in your DM. What? Pull what up? The I already showed oh, them the you're... article and the picture of the brain. The picture of the brain is up right now. Oh, okay. That's so you you guys were talking AI, but I don't have any AI experience except for, uh, well, whatever is out there about it. But um, yeah, so I have nothing to share about that. Good, good catch That's on right. that one, Foil. Very good catch. And I'm not a troll. Yeah. Yeah, thank God. Thank God. It's been kind of crazy. Hey, that, I didn't mind. Hey, was that first one with Rick Ashley, was that Kate or was that a random? No, I think that was a random person, but that was acceptable trolling. No, that, that was, was funny. That was that was great trolling. That was perfect. We yeah, were that cool was, with that. I mean, oh, was that a troll? Because that I see. Yeah, I somebody saw that. played the Rick Ashley video. We're no strangers to. Yeah, I, I'm not gonna sing it because I <laughs> yeah. suck. But remember yeah. when they used to do that all the time? You'd get Rick rolled, and and it would just be that you think you were about to look at something else, and that's what it yes. was. Yes. Yeah. Like that yes. was that that was acceptable. But this other shit. But then like, it went all downhill from there. Then it was oh, like yeah, bad so, business. Yeah. So. What's up with your guys' background? Uh, it, we're coming live from the office, office of the president-elect. President yeah. Wait, we, that way. Oh, that's that all, way. all you need that is, way. yeah, right? All you need is <laughs> is the sign, and then that makes it official, we've determined. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I see something else as well, which is COVID-19. Why? Yeah. Uh, yeah, well, we were, well, you know, that's cause cause we were, we were, because yeah. mm -hmm. it's the best she could do, really. So yeah, it's the, She didn't have time to seal? shop it. She yeah. didn't. Yeah, that's your presidential seal. Yeah. 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 Well, it's it's down there by I don't know. Well, yeah, we're giving a briefing the, from the, the office, of, right? Right. The office of the president elect. We're giving a briefing. Yeah. And so we're we're just I can play Kaylee. Kaylee. Yes, Kaylee? fearless. We got we got yeah. Rick rolled live on. Facts. What's, what's facts, Rick? What's facts. Rick? Wait, 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 wait! I don't get it. What's that's Rick what rolled? That's what it's called. When when, you... when that's what man they did that forever. Like that was the funniest joke it. for the longest. That's what the the song. That's what it's yeah. called. Like you got it's Rick a troll song. They say you got Rick rolled. You think you're about to look at one thing, and then out of nowhere, the song pops up. <laughs> yeah. Like that was, it was know. like a whole thing. No, it was like it's like a where, whole official thing. That's why wait, I said where that was were hysterical. you when that happened? The whole world had 
had to put up with that and you don't know right oh my goodness every man you'd open up whatever hey you know, i've always been I've, I've always been in my own world keystone this is not a new thing I, even as That's a sleeper true. i was i was a lone wolf you know i mean no seriously even in a cave you would find that because it was <laughs> all over the place right it was hysterical Those all right well my favorite tricks you know anyway <sighs> what a night Luke says, all right oh Stop, stop questioning Foyle and Alara's background. They are supreme leader, president <laughs> elect now. Right. Yeah. Don't right. don't question the opposite of the president elect, Keystone. Right. So tomorrow, the green screen. We must make it happen. We keep talking about it. We keep talking about it. We have got to get you on the Space Force News as the Space Force News weather girl. It'll be so much more exciting than me going, here's the Schumann. Here we don't have any yeah. solar flares. Yeah. We need you in the Jetsons outfit doing it. It'd be much better. What do you think, guys? No, That'd not the great. Jetsons. But I will find something. Yeah. I something. mean Okay. I, I will find something spacey. Okay. As long as it's like PG thirteen, we're good. Oh, what's what's PG thirteen? <laughs> she Man, really doesn't know. Uh, cover yeah, cover the important parts, that's all. Yeah. Right. Well it's like I don't care. Uh oh. oh. <laughs> She's like, cover just go the with important it yeah <laughs> yeah i will uh i will make sure that i'm covered up there you go and yeah ah, and, ah, uh, it's moving too fast oh my god where are all these no, trolls because, coming from i don't yeah, know this has there... never happened like this this is nuts well yeah we definitely this, you've got to revamp i do think this is a new here this, i think this is a new thing because um it happens a lot lately well, somebody was saying they think maybe the algorithms have been reset, and so this is getting uh, eyes on it that it's never weird. gotten before. Because yeah. that's what was happening on White Hat yesterday. A dude called in, and he was like, "I have no idea how I got here, or whatever." Yeah. Like, yeah, is oh. the yeah. He was saying he was maybe like, it's why, am I, "Why am I here? I don't even know how I got here." Maybe it's some what trick they they're doing. Maybe it's some trick they're doing to mess all of our shows up. Like they're su suggesting us in all kinds of weird places. Yeah, they like, do. They instead do. of just trying know. to silence us, suggesting us in weird places. Anyways. Okay, well, <clears throat> it's getting late, my friends. It was delightful to right. have you come on, Keystone, and share your light yes. with us. You're always so delightful. Indeed. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> and thank you to all of our actual legit callers with cool uh, stories of weirdness. You know? And thank yeah, you to the to mods. You guys had to work like super overtime tonight. So yeah, right? We yeah, really because I appreciate there. it. <laughs> it was right. crazy. Oh, he says it says live call in in my title. It attracts trolls. Yeah, but this is like next level what happened tonight. So, <laughs> yeah, anyway, it makes for right. good entertainment. So, anyway. Uh, yeah, that was right? something else. Yeah. So, anyway. Next time we just troll the trolls. Right. How about that? Maybe. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah, nothing much. I love you too. Drink with Tessa. Yeah, awesome show, you guys. Definitely. Uh, for no other reason than um, it was real interesting tonight. <laughs> <laughs> maybe it was yeah, darpa I, maybe we pissed darpa off with the yeah, surveillance probably and they said okay y'all want to play probably. we'll release but all the trolls be, on you yeah could right? they be bots as well those that come mm -hmm. in the chat for example i don't know who knows like the stuff we were talking about tonight who knows well i don't care though i don't know calling in with uh some of the stuff they were saying i don't know about bots but right oh, who knows that was nuts. Yeah. all right so yeah so and on that note um, on that note i'm uh well i i hope uh to see you as a space weather girl well i won't be live but um well tomorrow we're gonna have a meeting about it. when is your next show keystone go ahead and let everybody know when your next show is where you're gonna be monday monday i will have a, a guest who is um a veteran and uh we have a great interesting talk about all sorts of things but um, especially, um, I think, military and uh, how they deal with PTSD as well. Oh, okay. Okay. They very, got some, very... They've been doing some forward thinking on the, on the PTSD front. A lot, of new, a lot of new treatments and technologies that are able to be used at this point. Oh, really? That's oh, cool. yes. And they're using everything, for all kinds of stuff from... Uh, you know uh energy manipulation like they've got those things or like even uh ketamine they they approve ketamine treatments yeah. to treat ptsd yeah but i think there's a better way anyway but um right yeah there um i'm going to be uh doing things with that and um so that's it really uh i haven't done any health and healing stuff lately but i will 
start again because the website will be done very quickly. Cool. All right. Awesome. Thank well, you. Well, people, much love. Yep. Yes. I'm, uh, yeah, much love. Thanks, you guys, for coming tonight. We had a good time. We will see you. Uh, we do this every other Thursday at 10 p.m. Eastern. Um, and the next show on this channel, we'll see you on Sunday nights for Space Force News at 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern. Until then, much love and good much night. Love. Peace out. Bye. Mm -hmm.